there. Do you own a resin printer? Are you on the verge of nervous breakdown or ripping your hair out because you simply can't get a print to stick to your bill plate and instead it's getting stuck on the bottom of your resin vat? Well, this is the video guide for you because I'm gonna show you and tell you all the things you should check into to ensure that you never have another print fail because it's not sticking well enough to the bill plate. My name's Yasu. I run a little 3D print prop shop called Hero Creations, where I make replica props and costumes from your favorite video games, television shows, and movies. Recently, I've gotten hardcore into resin printing, and I want to share with you some of the tips and tricks and things I've learned over the last year so you have an easier time resin printing. So anyways, let's talk about how to get those prints to stick amazingly well to your resin printer bill plates and never fail again. Let's get into it. So before we get into the actual troubleshooting and the things you should be looking into on why your prints are not sticking to the bed, I want to walk you through um, basically how a resin print actually sticks to a bed. So unlike an FD, a filament-based FDM printer where you use uh, a variety of either specialized polymer build surfaces or fancy adhesion promoters that get your prints, your plastic, to stick to metal, glass, or, pla or other plastics, resin is a lot simpler. Simply put, a resin print is using a vacuum. Uh, in, in, essence a suction force to stick uh, the cured resin bits to your glass or your metal build plates on the printer. So the cause of pretty much every single fail you'll find uh, in terms of adhesion you know, failures, that is it's uh, either not sticking at the beginning of the print or peeling off over the course of the print, is because there wasn't a strong enough suction force between the cured parts and the build plate. So keep that in mind when you're troubleshooting and trying to understand the intuition of what is going wrong. So the first factor to troubleshoot and look into uh, whenever you have a failure is the bed level of your resin printer. Now most resin printers are manually leveled. So invariably there's always a chance that something kind of got off skew. So if it's peeling off mid print, you definitely want to make sure that the, uh, the bed level is completely parallel to your LCD screen. If it's not sticking at all from the get-go, then you're going to want to check the offset distance between your LCD screen and the, um, the, the build plate. Otherwise, if there's too much of a gap between the uh, LCD screen and the build plate, there just isn't any opportunity for the uh, cured resin to get a good hold on the build plate. Thus, They'll stick better to the uh, FEP sheet on the bottom of your vat. Now, if you're using a resin printer that has automatic leveling, like the Beam 3D Prism, then you're probably going to want to glance over a step and continue on with your troubleshooting because unless you, have, uh, you haven't cleaned out your FEP vat and there are bits of cured resin still stuck to the bottom, chances are you're not going to have leveling issues. So the next variable you're going to want to look into if you're still having failures and you know the uh, print is not sticking to the bill plate is the base layer exposure time that you apply to the first six to eight layers of every print you run. If you're not exposing your, um, your base layers long enough, that is usually between 60 to 80 seconds, you know, so roughly think 10 to 12 times your, uh, your normal layer exposure time, it's not gonna stick. Uh, it's not gonna overexpose enough in order to get that vacuum suction to the, uh, the build plate. So that's a very important thing you should definitely look into. So, and this is gonna vary from resin to resin. Some resins can stick very quickly, like faster cure resins will stick very quickly, you know, within 45 to about 50 seconds of exposure time. Other resins that are slower curing need as much as 80 to 90 seconds in order to get enough bite and, and suction in there. 
So one thing that will make troubleshooting your base layer exposure times easier is seeing if there is an existing spreadsheet for your printer listing out uh, the uh, base layer and layer exposure times of most commonly uh, used resins. Uh, almost every major uh, printer manufacturer puts out one of these, either it's community driven or the manufacturer is actually uh, testing and um, benchmarking their resins. But definitely, and usually you can find it on Facebook user groups, sometimes the website of the manufacturer of your resin printer will actually have that. So like in the case of Beam 3D, it's um, the resin spreadsheet for your layer base layers and your uh, layer exposure times is on the Facebook group. So you've gone through and you've troubleshooted your uh, bed level and you've troubleshooted and tried to tweak the layer exposure times and you're still having no luck getting your prints to stick or they're failing and peeling off midway through. Don't worry, we got a couple more things we can pull out of the proverbial hat and try out to see if we can fix the problem before we panic. The next thing you're gonna probably wanna look into is double checking and making sure your FEP sheet, that is that thin piece of plastic on the bottom of your resin vat is tight enough. Remember, when a, uh, your printer is pulling the bill plate off the, uh, the screen, this is what's called the peel process. And you're basically peeling your, uh, your cured part, the, the cured resin, off the FEP sheet. Now, the FEP sheet is slightly flexible. So it's actually gonna pull up slightly as you know your bed is raising. Um, you wanna make sure, obviously, to get a successful print, that the FEP sheet is completely pulled off and it's, you know, kind of popped back down. If it's not being fully peeled off the FEP sheet, that is usually where you start to run into adhesion issues. And this is caused by one of two things. The FEP sheet is too loose and isn't tightened enough. Or alternately, and this is a rare issue because most slicers are set correctly, is that the uh, print bed isn't raising up high enough. That is, it's less than four, mil four to five millimeters. Invariably, I double check your FEP tension before messing with your raise height. To check your FEP tension, you're gonna wanna use a, uh, like a, a drum snare or a guitar tuner and measure the uh, frequency in hertz um, to see how tight the FEP is. I'm generally finding that anything under 300 hertz tends to be an auto fail because it's too loose and you, uh, your build plate would have to get way high in order for the FEP to completely peel off your part, especially big parts. So generally, the sweet spot I've found uh, in terms of tension is between about 325 all the way to 450. Now be sure to not over tension your FEP sheet, you know, past say 400 to 500, because then you risk it being so tight that the slightest uh, pressure or anything really will puncture your FEP and, uh, well, risk causing a, a catastrophic leak all over your LCD screen, which nobody wants to clean up. So FEP tension is the third thing that you can look into to see if that is the cause of your adhesion issues. Now lastly, if everything else is still an issue that um, you know your base layers isn't working, your FEP tension is fine, um, your bed level is like perfect, you might wanna check into this. And this is kind of situational depending on the climate and the location you live in. Is the ambient temperature of where your resin printer is and you know what temperature you're, you know, the surrounding air is while you're printing, is if the air temperature is too cold, the resin starts to get a higher viscosity and gets more gelatinous and takes more time to, to resettle and to do all kinds of other things. And that causes a problem because you need your resin to be low viscosity, you know, relatively liquid and flowing. If it's not flowing, you're gonna have adhesion issues and you know, parts are not gonna to stick to the build plate because it's just too much pressure on the cured pieces and it's just gonna peel right off. So make sure your ambient temperatures are not below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. 
And in the case of certain resins like Soriatec, uh, Blue and Tenacious, where it's even higher viscosity to begin with, you want to make sure that those are preheated or your ambient air temperature is around 85, almost 90 degrees in order to print really, really well. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues and voila, build plate adhesion problems. So that sums up the four major things you should double check and troubleshoot when you're trying to figure out why your uh, cured resin prints are not sticking to the build plate as they're supposed to and instead are adhering themselves firmly to the FEP sheet on the bottom of your resin tank. Feel free to comment other things that you've noticed that have helped uh, your adhesion uh, to your build place for your resin printing experiences. I'd love to know more. I don't necessarily know everything. This is just things I've picked over for the last year and that's the video. I hope it was useful. Hope it was enjoyable. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, otherwise, if you want to see more resin tutorial videos, Feel free to smash that like button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for so much for watching. See you in the next video.